What are you doing here? My son's real father lives here and it's his weekend, so I'm dropping him off. Mommy, tread lightly. Because if I recall, you sold your soul for $5,000. So don't you even think about messing anything up today. Such a cheap little bitch. Carmen, don't get beat up with that newborn in your hands. You touch my daughter or my grandchild, I will slit your throat, you hood rat bitch. <laughs> you Taco Bell nacho grande eating bitch, I will put my hands on your daughter, that newborn, and you. It's real quiet in here. I noticed that she went at the hospital. Did I get your daughter pregnant? No, but he is your grandchild. Mm. Let me see him. He's very pale right now. Yeah, he needs some color. You know, all babies are pale when they first come out. Hand him over. Let me take a look at my new grandbaby. Oh, oh yeah, he real Mexico. He will grow into his color. Versace, go get Louis. I want him to meet his baby brother. I don't know, that was not a part of the agreement. Interesting. Savan, go get Louis. I want him to meet his baby brother. Um, no, I don't want my son around that baby just yet. I don't know what kind of germs that baby got from his mama. <laughs> you are so pathetic. Mm, Versace, I thought we were making progress. What happened to the growth? Why wouldn't you want Louis to meet his little brother? Versace, you gotta let whatever you holding on to go. You are now baby mama number one, and there is a number two. Deal with it. Anyways. I want all of us to get along. Now that our grandchild is here, there's no reason that we should be fighting. Carmen and Savon, you both should get your own apartment and live together as a happy family. Ultimately, the only thing that matters is my grandson. How does that sound to Mika? I think that sounds amazing. I'll also arrange for a family photo shoot for Carmen, Savon, the baby, and Louie. Ma, you're doing a little too much right now. I don't think I'm doing enough. I think you and Carmen should get married. <gasps> Brittany, are you okay? It's not his baby. What happened? She said she wanted some more money because she is broke. Do you need some more money? Interesting. I think y'all's wedding should be in Paris. I feel like seeing a Paris wedding. I'll pay for it, of course. That's not the box, baby! Carmen's actual baby daddy is in jail. She goes to see him every weekend and her broken English ass mama paid Tammy 80K to keep her mouth shut and then Tammy threatened me if I said anything and then gave me $5,000 or fuck you to me because you never put the bomb to marry me or offer me a parent's wedding.
it's not true. I'm not, I don't know where she got that information from. One of y'all can reach out for him and I hand him to you, or I can just throw him at you. Carmen, you are the biggest hoe I have ever met. I knew that baby looked a little too spicy when he came out. You watch your mouth when you talk to my daughter, Marisol. I need you, Carmen, and Lil Caliente to get the hell out of my house. His name is Calante. Whatever the fuck it is, it's not my son's. I didn't find out until the last minute, and I didn't know what to do, so I just went along with it. That may be true, but you still paid my mother, 80K, to keep her mouth shut. Let me explain. You seem like a very good mother who takes care of her kids and her grandchild. That man that my daughter is pregnant by is never getting out of prison. And I don't want her to have to raise a child by herself, like me. I don't give a fuck. I would have found out eventually when the baby started to look like Uno Stos Tres. What is my daughter supposed to do? Go straight to hell. But in the meantime, I suggest she make an appointment with the local WIC office. Hey, see, I ain't no dumbass bitch. <laughs> I'm really a smart one. I knew something wasn't right. And I may not be able to put two and two together right then and there, but I always put it together. You thought you was gonna trap my son. One thing this little mental break did for me was teach me how to use my words and not my hands. With that being said, Savan. Let me walk y'all out while my mama is still allowing y'all to. It's Saturday. They got visitation at the prison today. Go show that man his baby. Kyrie, why did I receive a phone call from your teacher earlier? I don't know. She said she told you to stop talking while she was teaching and you told her to shut her fat neck having ass up and to go eat a fucking Snickers. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Mama, he gives Miss Platypus problems all the time. You regret that. Brian, did I ask you for any extra information? Kyrie, you better start talking or I'm going to get in that ass. Mama, there was no reason for me to say what I said. I am so sorry. There's nothing I can say to justify me disrespecting that lady. As punishment, I give you my phone and I won't be playing my game for a week. Don't let it happen again. It won't. Hell no, nah, mama. Hell no. Nah. Beat his ass. Who the fuck are y'all talking to like that? and you can make a purchase from there. Kendrick, you are a fucking fraud. Hey, 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 Brian Jackson, watch your mouth. Ma, Kendrick is in here trying to scam Versace. Cousin, you know I own an online boutique. You seem to own a lot of things that are not in your name. What's going on, family? What's up, Brian? What's up, Ma? What's up, uh... What's your name? I think I got you pregnant. Never mind, it's not important. What's up, mama? Savon, is that something I can help you with? No, life's great. I'm living with Grandma Pam and I'm making so much money. I actually came here because I have to help you with something. Uh, Brian, is this the scammer you were telling me about? Yes, he's the fraud. My name is Kendrick and I'm your older cousin. It's nice to meet you, Savon. Mm. Mama, what all do you know about this failed replacement of mine? He helps pay bills. He helps out around the house. Besides all that weak ass shit, what else do you know about him? Savon, I don't know why you are here, but you know where you're at and who you're talking to. So start watching your damn mouth. How about you start watching who you bring into your house, Tamika? I've been doing that, which is exactly why your ass is no longer here. Now get your ass out of my house. Oh, well, speaking of your house, I thought that you should know that there's a house on Airbnb that looks mighty similar to this one. What the hell are you talking about, Savon? The host? His name is Kendrick. And this Kendrick. And the reviews that he has states that he cancels reservations before the check-in date. Kendrick, what the hell is this? Uh, it's a way for me and you to make some money, cousin. Kendrick! I don't 
want to hear that shit. Why the hell is my damn house on Airbnb? Uh, cousin, it's a good business venture. And I was going to give you 20% of whatever I made. 20? Oh, you done lost your damn... Get your ass out of my house. <laughs> you know, you were always my favorite cousin. The law states that you have to give a tenant 30 days before you evict them. Oh, mama just gave me the word and I would drag his ass out of here. Yes, mama, please. Can we put our hands on him? I got this. Kendrick, I should have saw your scamming ass coming from a mile away. But because your daddy died, I felt sorry for you, which is why I took you in. But you know what? He would be so disappointed in you right now. So this is me still being lenient to your ass. You have until the end of the week to get your stuff and find somewhere to go. I have 30 days to get out of your house. And if I get touched by one of your sons during those 30 days, my lawyer is going to have a field day. Now I'm gonna go upstairs to my room and I will take your house off of Airbnb. And Versace, if you want that website, just let me know. Fuck. Mm -mm. Get somebody else to do it. Savan, go beat him up. I'm too cute to go to jail. Mama, I promise you, ain't nobody gonna find the body. Let me handle it. Stop. I got this. Let mama handle it. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Kendrick, I am so glad to have you stay here and I'm really sorry about Uncle Teddy. It's okay, cousin. And thanks for letting me stay here. I know he wouldn't want me anywhere else. <sighs> now, I do have a few house rules though. One of them is to stay out of my way or you'll find yourself strapped to the highway. Boy, I used to lock you in the closet when you were little and you used to cry for your mama. <laughs> try locking me in one now. I wanna see you try. You were saying, Cousin Tamika. All I ask is you respect my house. And Kyrie. Yes, ma'am, I got it. But I'll just be going to work and back. I don't really do nothing. Oh, you have a job? Yes, and I plan on paying my way while I'm here. Wow. If only my oldest thought like you. Where is Savon? Out of sight, out of mind where you will find yourself if you mess with me. Kyrie, enough. Mama, can I talk to you? I am not approachable at this moment. This is my cousin Kendrick. He'll be staying here with us for a while. Damn, Brian, you didn't got big. And where would he be sleeping? Well, I figured since I just finished out cleaning Savon's room, I- Put my brother's stuff back in his room. Who the fuck are you yelling at, Brian? You, mama. I'm sorry, but you can't sleep in my brother's room. Uh, that's fine. I don't want no problems, cousin. I'll sleep on the couch. Boy, my mama don't even like people sitting on her couch. What makes you think she gonna let you sleep on her couch? No, it's fine. This is my damn house. Kendrick, that room is yours. <sighs> and by the way, Kendrick has a job, no kids, and it's gonna help me pay bills. Something that Savon didn't do. So if you want your brother's stuff, it's over there in the garage. You can have it. Put it in your room. You know what? You're the worst. The way you handled me that night. You know what, Brian? I want you to help me parent. Tell me how to parent. You have snuck out of my house several times to see that boy. You have lied to me several times to see that boy. Tell me, how do I discipline you? 
Help me. Well, for starters, maybe if you didn't deprive me of my relationship with him, then I wouldn't have to lie and sneak to see him. I am not having this conversation in front of Kendrick. It's not Kendrick. It's you having to face the fact that you're a homophobic asshole of a mother. If that's what helps you sleep at night, then I'll be that homophobic bitch of a mother. Wow. I allowed you to see Trenton. I allowed him to see you. I allowed you to be gay comfortably in my house. I allowed Trenton to be in my house. I wasn't a homophobic asshole then, was I? No, it's only when I discipline you, then I become a monster. Now, Brian, you have not seen the surface of homophobic, and that is because I am protecting you from it. Do I understand your sexuality? No, but I love you. I accept you, and I am proud of you, whether you believe it or not. There are worse parents than me. And at the end of the day, you are still a child. You are my child. You are my responsibility. And you live in my damn house. So you will follow my rules and do as I say. Or there's the door. Now, can you show Kendrick to his new room? Mama, but Savon is gone. He's gone, Brian. Do I like it? No. Do I want him gone? No. But how many times do I allow him to disrespect me in my house? My bed, Brian? Have you and Trenton been in my bed? No. No. He went a little too far. Some things I will not tolerate. Some things I will not allow. That was beyond disrespectful. He's gone. You're mixed matching again? Ma, I got all A's and a B in Spanish. I don't like all these different letters, Brian. Mom, just in case you didn't know, normal parents will be okay when their child gets A's and B's. I'm black and I have a B in Spanish. I know Espanol. The problem is I brag to my friends about you being a straight A student. And yet there is nothing straight about this report card. Why are you bragging to your miserable no man having divorce club friends about my report card? Because they like to brag about their kids. My friend Michelle likes to brag about her son Eric and how he's valid Victorian at his school. Bitch, my son Brian has a four-year scholarship. To Harvard. I'm not going to Harvard. Damn it, Brian, why? Because Trenton got accepted into a two-year college here in Texas. Trenton? does not have a four-year scholarship. Let me get this straight. You can pick any university on the planet, but you are choosing to follow that damn boy to a two-year college. Kyrie, tell mama to look at your report card so she can get off my back. I haven't even touched the surface of your back. We will finish this conversation later. Jesus, Kyrie, you got an F in math. Mom, I don't know what she was thinking when you saw my report card. Everybody can't be Brian and get all A's and B's and get four-year scholarships. <laughs> Mama, I know you were not somewhere smoking with my child. Tamika Savon ain't no child no more. He is 19 years old with a child of his own. Is this what your life has become, Savon? No job, living with your mother, a child that I'm taking care of, and now smoking with your grandmother? You know what? Yes. Yes. I'm a bum, and I'm proud of it. You're so focused on Brian and what school he's going to attend okay. that you're not even focused on me and Kyrie. Because if you were, you'd known that I got a job at Wendy's. 
flipping unseasoned patties. What an accomplishment. Shut your bougie ass up. You think you better than me? I am what you felt to be, and you're the oldest. Bring your bitch ass over here and say that shit. Now, Savon, you know you don't want me to come over there and say it again. I will beat your ass, oldest and all. What is going on? Tamika, what have you been doing to my grandbabies? Grandma, she hasn't been doing anything with me and Savon. Just her pride and joy, Brian. Where is this coming from? Oh, gosh, mama, that's a good question. Let's start with your lack of attention for me. You've missed two parent-teacher conferences so that you can go on college tours with Brian. Grandma, you want to go play bingo? You know, since my mama don't got time for me no more, you know, I don't have a four-year scholarship and all. You know what? Both of y'all can shut the fuck up. Because I do the best I can with what I am given. These parent-teacher conferences, your ass goes in my phone and you block the school number. And then you delete the emails from the school. Do you not? You don't want me talking to these teachers. And as for you, oh, you done lost your damn mind. I cannot help it that I have one child left who gives a flying fuck about his future. So I break my back to secure it. Now, feel free at any time to start giving a fuck about y'all's future. And I promise this back can break some more. Now, all four of y'all get the hell out of my kitchen. Uh, I'm the mama. You can't talk to me like that. You're the mama living with the daughter. I take care of you. How's that I? <clears throat> if they fight again, I'm going to beat your ass. Because you're the reason we are doing this again. And I don't have time for it. What did you want me to do, Tamika? Not tell you and have y'all help raise a child that's not yours? And I want you to swallow that bass in your voice and control your neck movements before I break it. <sighs> okay. Mama, can we just read the results? And you shut up too because we wouldn't be in this mess if you didn't decide to populate early. Rashad Blackwell. It was determined that the DNA you submitted was 100% not a match. Woo! Hmm. But I knew that. You can go. No, I want to hear Savon's results. Rashad, get your ass out of my house. And don't let her ask you first because then there goes your other eye. Savon Jackson. It was determined that the DNA you submitted was 100% a match. Yes! Yes! Look, I am so sorry I put y'all through that again. We are going to move forward, Versace. Because you were turning a new leaf. And I was starting to like your ass. I know, but it won't be any surprises from now on. From either of you, because I can't take no more. The next surprise is going six feet under. Hola, Perez. Oh. Ah what is that? What you thought I got rid of? But some better. Lo guarde. Okay. You heard what I said, Tamika. You're going to be an abuela again. Now, I don't know Spanish, but I'm sure that meant grandmother.
Savannah, if I die of a heart attack today because of you, who is going to take care of Louis Vuitton and whatever the hell that is in her stomach? Hmm. Who is going to take care of your kids? Who is going to provide for your kids? Huh? Do you know how to not populate? Is it hard? Mama, it's not mine. Shut up! I'm getting too old for this shit. You better hope that baby's not yours. You taco eating bitch. You went and gave my son a sibling without my consent. Come here, Maria. Come here. Stop around the corner. Come here. Um, Tamika, I need a room. You need a what? Mama, why is she making such an asinine request? Little girl, why do you keep posting my son on your social media like he's yours? Are you slow? That was a question. Why are you so loud? And I am not a little girl. I am a grown woman. You're a fucking child. Keep my son off your social media or I'm going to beat your ass. Savannah, are you still messing with this hoe or something? No. Then ain't no reason my son should be around you or you around my son. Tanika, why is she even here? Because I am a new addition to the family. How? I don't fuck with you. You don't fuck with me for right now, but you will. Tanika, tell them what's going on. Shay, keep my grandchild off of social media. Or next time, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to run up and lay your ass out. Lace fronts and all. Start making safe decisions, ho. Anyways, Tamika, why haven't you told the boys about me? Girl, we know who you are and we do not care. No, I'm your new stepsister. What? <sighs> Mom didn't tell y'all? She's marrying my dad, Greg. You're Greg's daughter? Greg is your dad? I was messing with Greg's daughter. First of all, don't you ever in your fucking life call me mom. I am not your mother. Second of all, it is not your place to tell my children something that I was going to sit down and talk to them about. Oh, well, you took too long. Oh, well, it won't take me too long to knock your ass out that bar stool. And I will tell my daddy. And I'll knock his ass out too, then knock you out again in front of him. Mom, you're marrying Greg? Greg did propose. I have not given him an official answer yet. Mama, why would you marry Greg? I have not given him an official answer yet. But regardless, Mama gotta have a life too. Mama, you can have a life with a different man. Not even then. Mama, you are to remain single until Kyrie moves out of this house. We will discuss this matter in private. It don't need to be discussed in private. It can be discussed right now in front of me. I am about to be your stepdaughter, Tanika. You need to start treating me like it. You are number seven of the 15 spawns that Greg has running around. You ain't shit special. Now shut your ass up and be grateful I'm allowing your ass to sit there unharmed. Don't look at me like that. Mama, with all due respect... Don't say with all due respect and then turn around and say some disrespectful shit. You haven't been making the best decisions when it comes to this household. Letting Kendrick stay here, then Greg, now Shay. Neither Shay or Greg live here. Now shut up! I don't want to hear shit else about it. I told y'all I will talk to y'all about it when I'm ready. I have not made a decision yet. When I make a decision, y'all will be the first to know. What I do with my life is what I do. Y'all ain't in control of shit here. Y'all live here. Y'all ain't running shit. Greg don't live here and neither does this little girl. Tanika, you are forgetting how this works. I go where my daddy go. If he lives here, then so do I. Well, I dropped your daddy off at his little job at the gas station. Go find him. Ew, I am too cute to be seen at a gas station. Let alone be dropped off. 